Hi, my name is Elizabeth Gronke, and I work at the American Folk Art Museum with the Folk Art Reflections Program as an access educator. And this is another video visit. I'm so glad you can join me. This is a special video because I've brought my dog Lulu with me. As you can see, she's very sleepily laying next to me. And the reason I brought her is because in this video, I'd like to look at art with pets. Now, many of us have had an important dog or cat in our lives. And we know they're important because of the way that we give love to them and we get love from them and the very subtle ways that humans and animals communicate and also the sometimes the outdoor adventures we get to have with them. So as we look at this artwork together, I'm hoping that you'll be thinking about some of those special memories that you have of being with an animal. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share a way that you can share your memories with me if you wish. So let's look at the first piece of art. Take a look at this painting. It's so detailed, it almost looks like a photograph, doesn't it? But it is a painting. And take a look at the fine, fluffy animal that is the subject. What are you noticing about this dog? To me, it looks like someone just brushed it out and made it as fluffy as possible. I also love the very intelligent look in its eyes. It almost seems to be posing for its portrait, doesn't it? And in fact, the name of this painting is Portrait of a Dog, Squire Donna and it was painted in 1894. I found out that the artist put the dog's American Kennel Club number on the side of the painting. So we know that this dog was a pedigree. In fact, the American Kennel Club was only 10 years old at the time of this painting. But regardless of when it was painted and what special breeding this dog had, just take a look at it and see what you think of it. First, I have a question. Do you think that this is a male or a female dog? Go ahead and tell someone near you what you think. And I have another question for you. If this was your pet dog, what would you name it? Think it over, pause the video if you like, and tell someone what you think is the ideal name for this sweet dog. Did you come up with a name for the dog? Even though we kind of already know the name of the dog because it's in the title, it's still fun to think of a name that suits an animal's physical characteristics and their personality. We can make it up, it's fine. So the next piece of art I wanna show you is a little different. It's almost certainly not a pedigree dog in the artwork, more of a working dog. You'll see what I mean. Isn't this incredible? I wish I could show you multiple views of this. As you can see, it is a glass bottle and there's a sculpture inside. What do you see inside? The name of this piece is Workman and Dog. And there's not much more we know about this piece in terms of who made it and where it was made and even exactly when it was made. But I do see the workman and the dog. Even though they seem to be walking in different directions, it looks like they're meant to be together. It almost looks like a snapshot, a frozen moment at the start of the workday. And I like to think about whoever made this and the tricks and the skills they had to use to build the sculpture inside the bottle to show a man and his dog just doing daily life. It makes me think about what daily life moment would I want to capture about spending time with my dog. If I had the skills to capture that moment in a bottle, what would I put in there? 
Maybe it would be the moments right before I feed her her dinner when she's looking up at me with total attention. What would you put into a bottle if you could capture a moment of yourself with an animal? Well, so far I've been very dog-centric in this video and I would like to balance things out a little bit and the next piece of art should help that a little bit. Take a look at this fine animal. Well, there's actually two animals here, aren't there? What do you see? I see a black cat staring right at me with yellow eyes. And the cat has a whole fish on a plate. This painting is called Cat with Fish, and it's by Vesti Davis. Now, Vesti Davis was well known for painting different kind of paintings. Usually they were busy street scenes and the city. So this is quite different for him. He has a few other paintings of black cats. So I think it's quite safe to say that he had a black cat or at least someone close to him did. When I've shown this piece to others, they've said that the cat looks like it's going to say something. What do you think? If it could talk, what would it say? Go ahead and tell someone that you're with what this cat is trying to say with its eyes. And speaking of expressive eyes, I would be remiss if I didn't show this painting, even though I've already shown it in other videos. You'll see why. See why this painting is perfect? As you can see, it's called Girl in Red Dress with Cat and Dog. It's a well-known and well-loved painting in the museum's collection for many reasons, but I happen to think that it has a lot to do with the animals that are in the painting. I'm going to zoom in on the dog's face so you can see that he's calmly staring right at us. I think it's possible that the painter gave us a portrait of a dog and a cat as much as a portrait of a little girl. The gentle tenderness that they share tells us so much about this little girl. Have you had any important animals in your life? It might have been a cat or a dog, or it could have been a bird or a turtle or a fish. As you can see from these artworks, we humans are very proud of our animals. We build these connections with them over daily activities. And of course we communicate with them without words and share a lot of affection with them. If there's an animal that you wanted to share with me, I would be happy to see it. Please email me the photo at this address. And I also wanted to recommend that you check out the coloring pages on our website. I think you'll find that one of the pages is very familiar. It's Vesti Davis's cat. I'll show you how to look that up right now. First, go to the museum's web page. Then look for the tab that says resources right here. Click on it. And a little way down, you'll see on the right side, AFAM from home activities and archives. So you click where it says learn more. And then you'll see a list of different activities you can do at home including coloring pages, which have become quite popular for adults as well as for children. And then around the middle, you'll see one that says coloring the collection cat with fish. Click on it. And now you have a downloadable printable PDF that is ready to add color to. Lulu and I thank you for watching this very special video visit with us.
We hope you had a good time and we hope you'll feel inspired to share your pet with us. Thank you so much and see you next time.